the essential equipment every fuel hauler needs. Can I, Hi, can I get a number four? Number four, what's the drink? Two punch. Okay, medium or large? Small. Okay, anything else? How does the French toast come? Four pieces? Yeah, four, six. Four pieces of French toast. Okay, anything else? That's it. And I have a lot of ketchup too, please. What's up, Big Z family? It's your boy, Big Z, man. I know y'all already see boys on the road headed to the stop. I just got some breakfast, so I'm up and ready to get it, man. Like, y'all, let's go, man. I'm about to switch the beat up on y'all right quick because y'all seem like y'all still sleeping, man. Is y'all trucking or y'all ain't trucking? Let me know in the comments. Let's go. What's up, bro? Hello. Um, we got the printout, the Vita Root? Yeah, uh, I'll Oh, okay. Thank you. So this stop right here guys, um, I did this stop before, this is a pretty tricky stop because I don't know if y'all could see the way, um, if y'all could see the way the truck is like, you know, like the ground is not level so the truck is in the air a little bit, but um, this stop right here, normally you have a problem with the, with the fuel going down so what I normally have to do is like, it'd be crazy because sometimes Air, air be inside of the tanks and the fuel won't go down so what we have to do is sometimes you got to stick the vapor you got to try to let some of the air, air pressure out and uh, what I try to do like maybe I drop like the first compartment on fast like I'll pull the level where it be all the way open and then sometimes like coming close to like the last compartment I probably just put it on slow just so the speed doesn't um, you know cause the valves inside the tank to close because this station normally have a problem with the fuel going down i don't know i don't know if it's something to do with the vapor i don't know if they fix it but um y'all stay tuned y'all make sure y'all like comment and subscribe and um let's see how this goes the premium be pretty straight though but let's go here are some essential equipment items every fuel hauler needs number one tanker truck a specialized tanker truck designed to transport and deliver fuel safely. Number two, hoses and couplings. High quality hoses and couplings to facilitate the transfer of fuel from the tanker to storage tanks or vehicle. Number three, safety gear. Personal protective equipment PPE such as gloves, safety goggles, and fire resistant clothing. Number four, emergency spill kit. Kits containing absorbing material, barriers, and tools for responding to fuel spills. Number five, fuel monitoring system, a system to monitor the quantity and condition of the fuel being transported. Number six, fire extinguisher, portable fire extinguisher suitable for fuel related fires. Number seven, transportation documents, proper documentations and permits for fuel transportation. So this is what I'm doing right now. This is to let the cars know that this place right here, this area right here is off limit. Nobody could come past this way unless you are certified. Oh gee, I'm just playing though. But nobody could come past this way, you know, cause I'm about to drop fuel. I'm gonna open up these tanks right quick. Um, like I was saying, I didn't, I was, um, I seen a lot of people was asking where I got my little um, hook from. But this right here, I got it from, I got it from Home Depot and uh, we just bent the, the tip of it. We bent the tip of it to make it into a hook. 
and um, yeah put a little piece of pipe just like just like a hose right there it's just like a little hose you just put it on there boom so yeah this this is what i got right now it helps with um you know to avoid all that bending down and stuff like that i don't know y'all if y'all do fuel hauling y'all let me know what um let me know what y'all do like do y'all use a tank opener like this or y'all just open it up with a screwdriver because some people use a screwdriver some people just use their hands but you know i just use this and it's pretty straight so y'all know this is the premium this is the vapor vapor regular so the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to stick the tank. And the good thing about it is once you put paste on the stick, it stays on the stick, so you don't have to worry. If you can see, look, paste are is still on the stick from the first from the first one. Yeah, see, look, the stick don't want to go down. Look, I don't know. Some stations you go to, like um some stations you go to you got some guys you know they'll try to squeeze the fuel into the tank and they would um see that's what's going on right now so right now this station right now they have a stick inside the tank so what they do is they put sticks inside the tank that way they could basically you know fill the tank up like all the way and some stations trip about it because um, you're not supposed to do that because what that does is when you fill this stick when you fill this tank up like too too much it rings off an alarm inside of the station like so on the Vita route it's gonna show or on the machine it's gonna show like tank overflow so that's why you see that stick inside there right now because once the tank once the tank reached to a certain level it's like a cutoff valve inside the tank that cuts the I close off the tank from fuel going inside so i guess that's what was probably going on with me when i came here the first time but when i checked my my vita route i had space to drop the fuel but some stations can't take that fast flow uh you know the speed of the of fuel coming out of the truck is really fast and the pressure so what you gotta do is drop it on slow but right now I probably not gonna have no problem with it now because they got a stick inside of it so that's gonna keep the, the valve inside the tank open so let me try to stick this tank right quick because where they put sticks in it it's like it's hard for me to stick it but see this see stick don't really want to go down all right that's it right there all right so the level on this right now is 60 60 Let's put that in right quick. So when I stick the first time it says 60, but on the on the Vita route it's saying that um it's saying that it's 47 inches of fuel in it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick it again just to be on the safe side, but it came out at 60. So I don't know. But let's see. It comes out now. Is that 60? Is that 58? Yeah, so 58. The Vita Rue is inaccurate right now at this station. Let's see what the premium looking like. Try to wait for the stick to dry a little bit. And there's no water in the tanks either. Uh, let me see what we're looking like. 45. 45 on the premium. Let's see what we're looking like. The premium. Premium, the premium. The premium is 40. 
It was pretty close. So we're gonna put 45, 58, and 45. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and start dropping. I always, like I always say, I always like to drop my premium first. I always like to drop, like, you know, premium regular is the most common gas. Premium is like the second most common, so that's all I have right now, so I'm gonna drop the premium first. And this helps me with avoiding, you know, a cross drop. Everybody do things different, but that's the way I like to do it. So, I don't really like to, I don't really like to spend money on the road, especially at these stations. Like, I know some guys who, who do fuel delivery, man, they spend a lot of money um, at the stations, you know, buying stuff. And, and these gas stations, food, this stuff be expensive. I don't know about y'all, but I don't be spending, I don't be trying to spend, I don't spend nothing. I don't buy a drink, I don't buy nothing from these stations, man. I bring my own stuff because these stations be these stations be too expensive, man. So that's a quick tip right there to try to keep some of your bread. Like don't be don't be don't be spending up all your money on um on you know on food at the stations. Another thing that I do too is um, I got like this little, um, I bring food. Like my girl should cook some food and stuff like that. And um, I bring I bring food. And it's, I bring food and you know, you always going to the stations and stuff like that. So you able to, you able to, let's see if this hole's long enough because it don't look so. Let's see, is it? Oh yeah, it'll be okay. But I don't like to bring food, guys. You know why? Because, I mean, I like to bring food. I don't like to buy food right there because food expensive, you know? So it don't make sense you coming to work and having to spend money on food all day, every day. Just try to save your bread, you know? That way you could use your bread to try to invest and do some things. But, um, yeah, I don't, I don't, I, I have this like portable microwave that I keep in the truckers. I mean, the stations be having microwaves and stuff too, but um, I don't, I don't use, I don't use the station stuff. I just, I just have my own stuff. I have like a portable, I have a portable microwave that my boy, my boy put me on to, and um, I just warm my food up. I plug it into the cigarette lighter, and my food be warmed up in no time. I'm gonna put a link in the description. I don't know, probably, I probably put a link in the description and. And y'all could go ahead and purchase y'all one of them. If y'all a trucker, any you know any kind of any kind of thing that you do, you could always use that. Put your food in there, heat it up whilst you on the road, you know. But uh, this is a premium, premium, premium. I'm gonna make sure that these hoses, everything's connected to the ground, and let's get it. And I already, I already peeked that these, this, this tank have a lot of pressure inside of it too. Cause when I put the, the vapor on, I already had like the, the pressure coming out the tank. So sometimes I like to, you know, crop the hose up a little bit. That way we get a smooth flow. So y'all stay tuned. Like, make sure like, comment and subscribe and let's wait for this to be done. Number eight, GPS and communication equipment, GPS system and communication devices to ensure efficient navigation and communication with dispatch. Number nine, fuel testing kits, kits to test the quality and integrity of the fuel being transported. Number 10, first aid kit, a well-equipped first aid kit for addressing minor injuries.
These are some of the essential equipment items for fuel haulers, but it is important to follow all safety regulations and guidelines specific to your region and type of fuel being transported. Thank you.